Hello, hello everyone, welcome to discussion video. Lately, I've been thinking about stuff. We know that Bethesda's next game is gonna be The Elder Scrolls 6, and we also know that timeline-wise, it's gonna take place after Elder Scrolls 5. And there has been a perfect storm of events recently that has made me kind of concerned about The Elder Scrolls 6. What do I mean by perfect storm of events? First of all, the Fallout TV series came out. Now, don't get me wrong, the Fallout TV series is amazing. It is very good, it is very highly acclaimed. However, because it takes place in such an expansive universe as the Fallout universe, some small inconsistencies with the timeline have put a more sour note on the more hardcore members of the fanbase. At the same time, I took the Herculean task of making a video about the Korra. That video should come within the next two weeks, but to make it I had to do a lot, and I mean a lot, of reading. And I feel like it is also safe to say that after Elder Scrolls 6, we're not gonna see another mainline Elder Scrolls game until, eh, 2040, if we're lucky. So, with all that information I just said, and after witnessing all this, my concern is that I am not really sure how you can do the Elder Scrolls 6 right, story-wise. Because I do believe that the game, gameplay-wise and graphic-wise, is gonna be awesome, but I don't know how you can do it right story-wise. And today I want to talk about why that is. And to explain to you where my concern comes from, I have prepared a small footnote with all the plot threats that I have been left unanswered as of the end of Skyrim's Dragon Ball DLC. So, as of the end of Skyrim's Dragon Ball DLC, which is the last thing that happens in Skyrim, the Nerevarig and Vivek are still missing, Chikolag is still homeless, the Emperor is dead, a second war with the Altmeri Dominion is coming, the Argonians are no more powerful than ever, it has also been hinted during the Elder Scrolls 3 that the only reason why Akavir isn't invading is because the Empire is too strong, and should the Empire collapse, they might invade. Alduin isn't dead and one day he's gonna show up again. The last Dragon Ball is now a servant of Amaius Mora, but he has more freedom than Mirak, because in the end of the Dragon Ball DLC we see him walking out of Apocrypha, and Euro the Fifth is still missing. In fact, originally it was Euro the Fifth who was supposed to be the main antagonist of Skyrim, but that idea was scrapped and we got Mirak and Alduin. These are just the notes I could come up with on top of my head. This is by no means an exhaustive list. Don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure that at least half of these points can be ignored entirely, but I feel like A, that's a part of the issue, and B, that's not even the only issue. In short, the Elder Scrolls franchise is bloated. How is the Elder Scrolls 6 gonna treat something like ESO? Are we just gonna brush it under the rug? Are we gonna get a quick mention, a few easter eggs? No one knows. There are so many points left unaddressed, and Elder Scrolls 6 is gonna have to introduce its own plot, that I'm not even sure how you can do it right. And even these aren't the only issue. Let's say in the Elder Scrolls 6, they want to write a grand plot, like they did in Starfield, about the nature and the origin of the world. Well, the obvious question is, which nature and which origin? Are we going by Monomyth, Anandated Anwad, Sithis? Are we gonna do the guy to the Empire Road and just leave everything vague? Are we gonna treat Ned as a character? I think that this is the point that the whole unreliable narrator thing becomes more of a curse than a blessing. And what is more is that they can't just undo it either. What are they gonna say? Oh, you know, uh, Monomyth is actually right, everyone else go home. There is so much more information going into Elder Scrolls 6 than going into Elder Scrolls 5 that it's not even a joke at this point. There is books, there is an entire prequel MMO. Everything is so interlinked together. It is so hard to write something about this universe without having a touching toes with something else. Even if the writers of the Elder Scrolls 6 are absolute Elder Scrolls fiends, even if they have read every book, they're not gonna remember everything. Something is gonna fly under the radar and somehow a retconning is gonna have to be introduced to some level. Which brings me to another problem. I feel like as a community, after the Elder Scrolls Online, we've become a lot more hostile towards retconnings. What do I mean by this? Well, I remember there was once a guide for Morrowind, which listed Skyrim as something completely different than what it currently is. There are also NPCs in Morrowind that treat Cyrodiil as if it were a jungle. And it also mentions that the land was full of dragons. When those things had to be redcon, there was very little backlash from what I understand. People were generally on board with it. But I feel like the law these days is so much more scrutinized and so much more discussed that these things will be noticed right away and they won't be tolerated as much because we already had a lot, and I mean a lot of redconning happening for ESO. And after one point, I can see why people got fed up with that. But I just can't see a world in which they make Elder Scrolls 6 and have it be absolutely consistent with everything else. Even everything else isn't consistent with everything else. Just like the Fallout TV series, they tried as hard as they could, but they just couldn't do it entirely. The franchise is just way too massive. And I do believe that although I'm not a Fallout expert in any way, Elder Scrolls is a lot more complicated than Fallout. So I don't even know what they would do here. And I feel like people on the internet always make their own assertions for what they want to be in the Elder Scrolls 6. Some people want to see a return back to the mysticism of Morrowind, there's people that want to return to the expansiveness and the freedom of Daggerfall, and there's people that story-wise would be fine with just Skyrim 2.0. But for me, in all honesty, if I was in the writing team for Elder Scrolls 6, I would not know what to do. 
because there's a bunch of other people in the room with me, they have their own understanding of the universe, and my understanding is probably different than theirs. They want to see different things mentioned in the universe, and I want to see different things than they do. The universe has like 30 years worth of people writing story about it, some more than others. And after the events of the Elder Scrolls 6, you're probably not gonna get another Elder Scrolls game for the next 10 years at least. So where do you go with it? I feel like the best choice would be to do exactly what Skyrim did. Make it a hundred years in the future, write a bunch of books saying what happened in the Second Great War, say that the Talmor got destroyed and the Empire got dissolved, and then just go from that point. I really, really don't want them to cover a Second Great War, and there's a very good reason for that. Guys, we can lie to each other, but we can't lie to ourselves. Every time I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, and I say, Kotho, the Thalmor just aren't well written villains. I'd rather them dying off camera and then writing a bunch of books about it than have them be the actual villains of an entire game. They're just not well written. What are the Thalmor fundamentally? Exactly. The Thalmor are just elf Nazis. One of the best villains we had in this franchise. Exactly. Dagothair and Mark and Cameron. The Thalmor suck compared to them. Everyone knows that their assumptions about the world are fundamentally wrong. Everyone knows that their plan of ascending is absolute garbage and would never work in a hundred years. And they've tried it before and they failed. So they're basically Looney Tune villains. I would rather just be done with the Thalmor. I don't know if they'll keep the Empire or not, but do something with it as well. And then just do something else. Talk about Akavir, I don't know. Maybe even discuss Yokura. But please, I don't want any more elf Nazis. How about we introduce Gigolak to the real estate market? I think that could be more fun. So, in short, my concerns about the Elder Scrolls 6 are as follows. There are a lot of unresolved plot points that cannot be addressed in a single game, and we're probably not getting another game for like two decades after that. The lore is very bloated and it's contradicting itself at times. Between Test 5 and Test 6, a lot of things have been introduced in the universe, and I don't know how they're gonna treat them, given that they were in Elder Scrolls 5, as that might create a contradiction. But what is most likely to happen, just like every subsequent Elder Scrolls game, some things are gonna have to be retconned or changed, and the community is increasingly not fine with things like retconnings and arbitrary changes, and of the already existing bloated and contradicting lore, some of it is just not good. <coughs> the Thalmor, and I don't want them committing to something that isn't good when we had so much better in the past. So those were my concerns about the Elder Scrolls 6 plot-wise, and with all the things I just said, I don't want to doom post on anyone. The Elder Scrolls 6, I believe, is gonna be a good game. What I am concerned about is the Elder Scrolls 6 having a good story, which is only a part of a game. It is an important part for many to be sure, including me, but for some people it doesn't mean anything, and for others it's just a meh thing. Like, the Elder Scrolls 6 doesn't have a good story, eh, move on, it looks nice. But I don't want people to think that A, everything is gonna be addressed, and B, the plotline is gonna fit perfectly. What I'm about to say is a fact and I checked. This has never happened in any Elder Scrolls game. There is always some inconsistency, and I'm afraid that with how bloated this franchise is nowadays, those inconsistencies are gonna be bigger than any other time. But that was the main topic of this video. I've noticed people in my comment sections being very pessimistic about the Elder Scrolls 6. I am not one of those people, but I can see where they're coming from. Especially after certain, um, creation club creations. But I am not pessimistic about it. I am just worried, or concerned, or after the creation club updates, shell-shocked, one might say. So please leave your own opinions down in the comments. And like Victorian gentlemen sitting in a corner club, we can discuss down there. Quora video coming sometime in the next two weeks. This has been Kotho, bye.